I picked up one of these programmable LED strips. This one happens to be from Adafruit. It's a dot star. Each pixel on the strip is individually programmable. And uh, you can see here what I'm using is an Arduino Pro Mini. And I've also got a couple of modules that I'm using to control. I've got a rotary encoder and the rotary encoder also can be used as a button. You can single click it or double click it. And I've also got a three axis accelerometer. I'm only using one axis in these particular examples, but um, you could use any or all of the axes to, to do control. And so uh, in this particular example, the rotary encoder changes the speed at which the lights are moving. So you can see Um, right here I'm dialing the dial up and down to change the speed of the of how fast the lights are shooting across there. Pushing the button, pushing down on the encoder, switches it between the two modes. There's a single LED mode and then there's a sort of a line. I think it's 10 LEDs in a line. So one interesting effect that I like to do is put the strip in a circle like this. The code for all of these examples is on my bit bucket under dot star, the dot star project. I'll link to my Bitbucket down below. This is another way I like to set it up sometimes, a double loop. This example is kind of a two-directional swirl. The even-numbered pixels are being shifted two spaces to the right and the odd-numbered pixels are being shifted two spaces to the left. So they, they seem to be um, uh, shooting past each other. And in this example, the rotary encoder again controls for the speed and then pushing down on the encoder, pushing the button, just changes the pattern of lights at random. And again, putting it into a circular configuration sometimes makes for some interesting effects. Clicking the button just gives a completely random set of colored dots. Uh, there's really no control over it. If you, if you don't like one, just click it again and keep clicking until you get a pattern that you like. And then I'm just turning the uh, turning the encoder up and down to get the speed changed.
this is showing the use of the accelerometer. So I'm tipping the board, tipping the whole board, tip it one direction, the, the lights swirl in that direction, put it down flat and the lights stop, and I'm tip it the other direction and the lights turn the other direction. change on this one is that the, the encoder now sort of moves the center point so now you can, you can turn it turn the dial and make it uh, turn and then picking up the um, board can make it go or stop this one is just cycling through all the different colors I think it would take like a year to cycle through all the colors but it just kind of keeps going Encoder changes how quickly it cycles through colors. This is just a one directional, uh, I call it a swirl of the lights, so all of the pixels are being swirled either um, one direction or the other direction. And the, um, the encoder changes how quickly and in which direction the lights move. Again, pushing down on the encoder, pushing the button, just gives a random pattern of, of lights. So I just kind of keep clicking until I find a pattern that I like and then turn the speed up and down to get different effects. You'll notice that if you turn the speed too far up, the lights just kind of turn white. And then this is just another, I just laid the strip out in a new pattern. I'm going to keep playing with this, and if I find any new interesting patterns, I'll make new videos and post them. Suggestions for uh, new patterns, new ideas for what to use the pixel strip for, welcome in the comments. Thanks for watching.